What's going on everybody, Scar Titan here once again with my good friend brother Stogie. Say hello to the people of Gotham City. King Willikers, baby, we are back <laughs> with another episode for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Brother Stogie, what uh, what do we have in store for everybody today? Hey, y'all, actually, we are doing a cigar review this episode. That's right. And what is the uh, cigar we are doing a review on? Hey, so check this out. So we are doing, as you can tell, we got the Stogie Den. We are in our layer of Stogies. And we have our Gotham That's cigar. Right. And a big shout out to GothamCigars.com. <laughs> You're just looking for an excuse to cover up my face. <laughs> there you go. So big thank you for sending these out to us. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this review. You ready to get started? Let's rock. Hey, welcome back everybody. So today, like we said at the beginning of the episode, we are going to be giving Gotham Cigars House Blend a try. Um, and just a little bit of information on these cigars. The, this was the information that was sent to us um, by Gotham Cigars. This is a six by 50 uh, with an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, a Sumatra binder, uh, Nicaraguan from Jalapa filler along with Dominican Pil Pilato Cubano I think I'm pronouncing that right I'm not I'm not known to be the person to pronounce all of these things right on the show <laughs> that's why brother Stogie's letting me do this uh, and the origin is from Nicaragua so the strength on this is a mild to medium cigar so brother Stogie what are your initial thoughts with Gotham Cigars. Hey, so before we get into that, I wanna let y'all know that uh, Gotham Cigars, or yeah, GothamCigars.com. Um, this is website is premium. You can go on there like Cigars International and either one of those websites, they sell all other premium cigars as well. But this is their house blend. So we are reviewing their house blend tonight for y'all. So initial notes, y'all know what I like to do first. I like to sniff my <laughs> baby first. I just feel like you can't really give a review on a cigar unless you smell it before you even cut it and smoke it. So first, I feel some hints of cinnamon. Now mind you, this is what I smell, y'all. Or your own if you wanna smell something different. <laughs> and let's see the foot. It's gonna get real earthy on the foot. What about you? For me, I get a very light hay aroma, not a very strong aroma off the cigar. It looks very well put together from what I can see. Looks like uh, either a double or a triple cap on the end of this. I think it's a double cap on the end of this um, with kind of a dry wrapper feel. Now, I, the wrapper itself isn't dry, it's not falling apart. There's definitely uh, still some buoyancy in the leaf here, but the initial feel off of it is uh, kind of a dry, yeah, dry feel to the wrapper. All right, so we're gonna get these bad boys cut and lit. I'm gonna switch it up. I don't wanna damage the wrapper, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how delicate it is. So I'm gonna go ahead. My torch came with a punch, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this. So now I'm getting some hints of like Raisin Bran. <laughs> like the flakes, like the box. So you get all kind of flavor notes when you just kind of just play with it before you actually light, light it up. So hey, let's go, man. Kind of along the same lines. Again, nothing, no real kick to it. I don't get any of that kind of peppery taste. Um, you know, that sensation, kind of like a tingling sensation on the lips when taking a dry draw. In terms of the draw itself, it, it's a perfect draw. Uh, not too tight, not too uh, loose, so it should be fairly manageable. Very good smoke output. Now it's getting immediate pepper earth tones now. That's what we got lit up. I don't get too much of the pepper off the initial light. What I am getting is more of a light cedar wood. Smoke output's very good. Like I said, the draw, um, you know, perfect draw on the cigar so far. Uh, so not too many problems there. Hey, when you're when you're out in the woods, you know, you you got you got to deal with the bugs, right? 
effects is okay. You're about to get bit up by some damn mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the uh, first third here, and we'll come back with an update. All right, guys. So we're back, just cruising through the first third here, brother Stogie. What do you think? Hey, yo. So first off, we always got to explain what's in our cups, you know, or our glass. So we are pairing this with our Dalmore Scotch whiskey. First thoughts off of this, super mild right now. So this is the first third. You always know when you're smoking a cigar, it can change it by the second or the last or the cigar. But right now, it is super smooth, super mild. This is like a shooting range cigar, yeah. uh, off of the golf range cigar, nice dessert stick. We yeah. may not be sitting down and paying too much attention to those different kinds of flavors and things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's not giving off too many flavor notes. It's, it's still got that, you know, that cedar, earthy tone. Yeah. Uh, that pepper that I mentioned earlier, that was kind of off the first drag, so I got that little spice on tongue, now it's gone. All right, so now we have the cedar, earthy tones right now, and it's, yeah, it's real cool, real smooth. Yeah, and as you can see here, just bring this up real quick. You can see, you know, very good uh, fern line on the cigar. It's holding on for about an inch. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that so I'm not wearing it in my lap. Um, but some of the, you know, I get some of the similar or some of the same and similar flavor notes as Brother Stogie. Uh, I do get, you know, that cedar uh, wood with, and again, the smoke is very, very light and uh, uh, there's a little bit of cream to it, but it's also the smoke has a texture that for whatever reason has a tendency to dry out my, my palate, um, but it's not a complicated smoke at all. This is definitely something I would recommend to somebody who might just be getting into cigars and never had a cigar before, yeah, and they yeah. kind of want to dip their toe in the water. Yep, this will work for that. Absolutely. I agree. So we're gonna get through the second third of this, Stay tuned. <laughs> and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we're back for the uh, second third here. Um, real quick, Brother Stogie, with me, you know, not a lot of flavor transitions so far. Again, this is not a complicated stick by any means. Still very much a light, maybe going into that medium body a little bit, but for me and my personal palate, this is a very light cigar. Um, flavor notes are exactly the same as they were through the first third with you know some of the cedar and the wood notes. Um, I am picking up a little bit more of the pepper taste off of the cigar, but it's very fleeting. You know, once it hits the palate, it it brushes over and it's gone almost immediately. But it's just enough to let you know it's there. Brother Stogie, what are you getting? Hey yo, so me and Cigar Time, we were discussing that the biggest turnoff of both of them was smoking cigars is that P word, performance. You know, it's yeah. all about the way a cigar performs. And when you constantly have to relight a cigar or when it tunnels and you, you're cutting it right, you're lighting it right, you're dragging it right, you're not over dragging, but it just keeps going out. That right there can just maybe put a cigar right down there, not even halfway through and don't even care about it. But this one right here, so check this out. I've been doing a performance test this whole time just to show y'all how this cigar is holding up. So. I think I asked you about once. Look, hold on, I'm getting layer. It's kind of dark. Uh, uh, I don't think okay. you bashed it at all. It's a okay. flat top okay. on that yeah, Look, just like, hold on, look. It's like the hair. You see that? <laughs> look at that, see? That is a perform, it is performing very well. Um, my flavor notes are the same as Cigar Titans right about now. It is real smooth right now. Yeah, and I actually, you know, I had to go in and use the restroom real quick. Um, and I set mine down for a couple of minutes came back, puffed on it, and it picked up right where I left it. Uh, and that's, you know, that's really a good testament to the performance of the cigar. You know, some cigars you really gotta babysit and make sure that you're constantly puffing on it and you either run the risk of overheating it or you, you flush out those flavors. Um, but this one, you know, has been performing very well all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the band right now. I'm not, I don't want to. I'm gonna take the band off and it You looks. don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> So I'm not it's a, ready yet. It's a self-adhesive band um, and absolutely no damage done to the cigar. So kudos uh, to Gotham Cigars uh, for not throwing on a ton of glue on their band that damages the cigars. <clears throat> All cigar manufacturers really should uh, consider going to these self-adhesive cigar bands so that you're not pulling off a chunk of your wrapper when you take off the cigar band. Hey, so we so what we did was, you know, for our mathematicians out there, for those trying to save a buck, 
You know, we want to do some math for y'all. So if we looked on the website, if you get like, you know, a pack of 10 of these bad boys, it's about what, 34, 35 bucks, right? About 34 bucks, yeah. So I run you about $3 or some change for the stick. That's not bad. We're trying to save some money, you know what I'm saying? And this year, yeah, for a premium cigar, absolutely. Hey, you know, hey, hey, <laughs> save a dollar. Hey, speaking about saving a dollar, so y'all know this whole COVID thing is trying to ease out, right? Well, at least we hope so. So, me and the wife, we went out to Ontario Mill, you know, Ranch Cooper Market, we went Ontario, mall. went to the mall. We did. And if it was I didn't get an invite. If it's. <laughs> Where was my invite? <laughs> we ain't gonna start shit on camera. Right? <laughs> so, um, for me and the wife, we went to the mall, right? So if there's one place I'm, I'm gonna cover up, it's the mall, especially right now. So, fully covered. But what sucks is that not all the stores are open, and then stores that are open, like, it's lying at all the damn stores. So it's like, they're only letting, one store was letting eight people in at a time. Eight? Eight. Ooh. The highest I saw was 12. Wow. It was a line, you should, man. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm sticking to online. Amazon, you got my business. Shit. And order your stuff online. <laughs> your cigars, too. Your cigars, too. And hey, if you guys have got a nice uh, bargain cigar that you enjoy smoking, that you think maybe the Cigar Titans would like to try, leave a comment down below. You know, we've got our contact information up on YouTube. You can reach us at Instagram, brother underscore Stogie and Cigar Titan on Instagram. You know, DM us a message and let us know what kind of bargain cigars you guys enjoy smoking. All right, so let's get into the final third here. We'll come back with an update and we'll give you guys our final thoughts. I'm gonna keep this ass going just for y'all. So hopefully, hey, pray for me, cross your fingers, and keep this ass going, all right? <laughs> we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so we're closing out the final third right now. Brother Stogie, what do you think? Hey, man, so flavor profile, it's been pretty consistent throughout the whole cigar, really. Very chill. I, I love I love the cigar, honestly. So for those of our watchers who like to have their their morning cigars, their after dinner cigars, their on the go cigars, or going to the range or or whatever, this thumbs up for Brother Stogie. Yeah, I agree. Um, just like Brother Stogie said, really good morning or dessert type stick because it's not very heavy on the palate. The end here, um, a lot of those same flavors have continued to carry over towards the end of the cigar. Uh, I did pick up a little bit more of the earth and nutty notes uh, as I got towards the end of the cigar. Starting to get a little bit warm here, um, but overall, great performance from you know a reasonably priced cigar. Um, so this gets my recommendation. I think it's very good. So I'm gonna show y'all. I I tapped that ass <laughs> all all video. And we hear y'all, oh, close up, oh, close up, oh. So, Brother Stogie, before we go, what should the people do? Should I tap that ass? Nah. Nah? Why All right. do it? Why do it? Keep that ass going. Hey, man, so you are, you are new to our channel. Please subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Like, enjoy, do one more thing. Hit that bell notification so you get new notifications every time Squad Titans put up a new video. Hope y'all enjoyed our Batman lair. <laughs> Until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live, oh. and that's rule, baby. You had to throw the deep voice in there, didn't you? Yeah, man, look, shit, Batman, shit, Batman got a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one.